क्वेश्चन नंबर 64 श्री असाउद्दीन ओवैसी जी क्वेश्चन नंबर 64 सर स्टेटमेंट इज लेड ऑन द टेबल ऑफ द ना ना असाउद्दीन ओवैसी जी का आपका ये जी सर सर आई वांट टू आस्क फ्रॉम द ऑनर मिनिस्टर थ्रू यू इज दैट हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल बाय 2022 इज अ गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव इज इट ट्रू सर दैट इन दिस ईयर बजट in the pmay your ministry has been granted 27500 crore is it also true sir that to complete 1.12 crore houses it will trigger an investment of more than 7 lakh crore i want to know what is the how do you uh, intend to generate this revenue because i am sure that you don't have a magic lamp wherein a genie comes out and gives you 7 lakh crore in 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 in, in two years that is my first supplementary to you sir i would like to inform the honorable member through you that yes it is the government's objective as enshrined in the prime minister's original statement that it's his dream that by 2022 every indian citizen no matter where he or she lives should have a home of their own with the title in the name of the lady of the house in order to encourage gender empowerment also that the it should be a pakka home with a kitchen a toilet and all other facilities which which will be provided in a modern home now when we embarked on this scheme we realized that you needed to do a demand assessment and the demand assessment was done before i joined this ministry <laughs> sir according to that we would have to construct or sanction 1 lakh homes this demand assessment was subsequently revised to 1 lakh 12000 yes it's true that we had a meeting in december 1 one 1 crore 12 lakhs 1 crore 12 lakhs 1.12 1 crore 12 lakhs sir in the month of december the co the committee for monitoring and sanctioning of projects headed by the secretary in the ministry approved 6.7 lakh homes under the request received this took the figure over the 1 crore mark and we have now sanctioned 1 crore 3 lakhs the overall figure of 1 crore 12 lakhs will also be sanctioned uh, i think within the next month or two now the issue comes on whether a project of this magnitude a project which is so ambitious it can be financed through budgetary uh, allocation i think on an average if memory serves me right we were getting about 6500 crores in our budgets over the last 5 years uh, there this was clearly not sufficient uh, for us to be able to finance a project of this scale therefore soon after i became a minister we started examining the possibility of additional funding through the national urban housing fund nuhf and we were able to secure another 60000 crores now sir in many of these projects first of all in overall terms out of 1.12 crores 32 lakh beneficiaries have already received their homes they are living in them another 60 62 lakh beneficiaries have had their projects grounded and work is going on we have made the initial payment but we will require more funds Bef in order to prepare myself for this question this morning i knew that i would be asked this question all i can say is out of the uh, earlier 60000 crores uh, we have just got a release of 5000 crores we still have another 7000 crores cushion there but very soon we will have to look at another tranche of extra budgetary funding and i want to assure the honorable member i want to assure this house that we are intent on getting this scheme completed well before 2022 and we will find the resources in order to be able to complete that task main main aapki madad chahta hu sir main aapki madad chahta hu sir yahan par aap sir aap inko aisa aasan se nahi chhodenge ye mera sawal kya tha sir ke mission 2022 ke tahat aapne vaada kiya ke 1 crore 12 lakh ghar banaye jayenge maine मोहतरम से पूछा कि आपको इस साल बजट में सत्ताईस हजार पांच सौ करोड़ रुपए दिए गए एक करोड़ बारह लाख घर को मुकम्मल करने के लिए आपकी मिनिस्ट्री को क्या सात लाख करोड़ की जरूरत नहीं है 
और आप फिरा फिरा कर कभी फास्टर वन कभी गूगली कभी चेक कर रहे हैं क्या है सर ये सर एक सवाल सर सर आप देखिए सर मेरा पहला अब इसी में चले आता है हम एक पॉइंटेड सवाल किए मोहतरम से वजीर साहब से और वो बोल रहे कि रिसोर्स जनरेट करेंगे भाई आप जनरेट करेंगे तो वादा करिए ना कि सात लाख करोड़ देंगे सर मेरा दूसरा सप्लीमेंट्री है वो जवाब नहीं दी मेरा दूसरा सप्लीमेंट्री मेरे हिसाब से ये है कि डू यू नो सर दैट फोर डेज अगो इन माउ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ यूपी एन ओल्ड वुमन डाइट बिकॉज ऑफ कोलैप्स ऑफ स्टेयर्स अंडर दिस सेम पी एम ए वाई देर आर सो मेनी कंप्लेन अबाउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट स्टेप्स आर बींग टेकन बाई योर मिनिस्ट्री to ensure that the quality of construction is of good standard or whatever standard is prescribed and may i also i sir my my i also want to know from the honorable minister is that have all the installments on the scheme been transferred to beneficiaries in a timely manner so as to enable them to construct houses at the earliest and what is the total number of beneficiaries whose, whose claims are pending as of date What measure is it, is it adopting to ensure timely payment of installments at the grassroots level? Sir, this is my pointed question. Is, sir, I ask you to rescue. I want to know that Mr. Sir, very capable, sir, is. He is a bureaucrat. He has been here. I want to know a little answer, sir. Sir, I would like to inform the honourable member that this is not a game of cricket, and I provided straight answers. Let me repeat. Those 27 straight bat, front first, foot forward. 27500 crores is for the ministry not for affordable housing and as i said over the past 5 years we have been getting an average about 6500 crores or so now out of this 27500 crores what comes under pmay is about 8000 crores you cannot have a situation sir where we cook up a figure and then we said this is the figure as if it has a finality 700000 crores it could be 900000 crores i am trying to explain that the scheme is implemented through four verticals it's not that 1.12 crore homes are being built some are being sanctioned some are amounts as small as 150000 which are given for beneficiary led construction if mr ovesi the honorable member has a home of his own he wants to get he'll get 150000 equally if you have a credit link subsidy uh, scheme which we have an interest subvention you are a young professional you go to a bank you want to borrow money we give you 3% up front so the figure is not 700000 crore so once you cut the figure and then you seek the speaker's help sir you don't need the honorable chairs uh, this thing i am i am provide i am i am providing i am providing the figure that i am provide i am providing you the figure i am saying that if the total figure i think we will need another 70000 crores or so apart from the budgetary grants that we've got on an average of 5 6500 a year for 5 years 8000 crore this year and we will keep getting till 2022 if you set those aside take 60000 crores which we've got through extra budgetary funding maybe another 70000 crores but i cannot answer the question till i know the specifics of this please don't create a fa false narrative on this subject as well i am providing you the answer i am because because i am honorable speaker sir i want to place the following facts before uh, the house through you the situation is when you carry out a major scheme like this which provides a major transformation where every indian has a home of their own these come in different affordable housing in partnership is one let us say on 5 years we got an average of 6500 crores which is something like previous 5 years now now we are in a situation we we are going to exhaust the 60000 crores we will need another infusion total will be about 120 130000 but the exact figure will come when you know precisely how many beneficiaries there are under cls how many beneficiaries there are under uh, uh, beneficiary led construction mr chair honorable speaker sir the precision in figures is not a part of a political debate it is precision in order to deliver and the issue is that the homes are being delivered sri sayed imtiyaz